Well, the king of the aerospace fanboy uh, club, and I ain't gonna say no names here. Uh, and some of you know, in the aerospace, you know, uh, fanboy followers, man. And um, now I continue to tell you, you know, what and what can't Terrence Crawford do in the ring. And I'm about sick of it, bro. Y'all know what it is, Goodfellow Sports TV. Your boy CJ Goodfellow, man. And I'm just tired of the same narrative of boxing where everybody's a hypocrite. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's really no different. Well, you know, uh, I'm not convinced about Terrence Crawford power and, you know, you know, he ain't. You know, the narrative is he don't get the knockout. Well, what you what do it matter? He win. He win. The brother wins, right? That ain't that the goal? Floyd Mayweather won knocking everybody out at 140, 147, 54. Mayweather ain't never got a knockout at 54. He got minimum knockouts at 147 pounds. Alright, all these dudes want to be on here. They want to criticize Anthony Joshua and say Joshua this, Joshua that. But Errol Spence doing the same thing. I don't care about the fifty million and him not showing up, or all, all of that. At least I know where. I, at least I know where AJ stand at. Let me say that about AJ. At least I know AJ stand where I ain't fighting Wilder. I ain't messing with him. He said it. You know what? I don't want him right now. You know, I want to be in a position to where I can win, and then that's when I fight him. You know, at least I know where he stand at. Errol Spence, you know, pulling up to Terence Crawford and saying, you know, oh Sean Porter, easy. I want to get the easy fight out the way. How I did it, though, how I did it throughout my life, and I found out I wanted to get the heart out the way. I wanted to get the hardest tasks out the way, and whatever I was doing, whatever, in college, you know, final exams, and the one I had to study most, the hardest for, I knew it was going to be the hardest one, I want to get that one out the way. You feel me? That's the one I definitely want to 100% get out the way. All right, I ain't never want to take the easy nothing first, you know, at least in a long time. You know, I want to get the heart out the way. Now, some tests that you go through, you want to answer the easy questions to get your juices flowing in your brain. Then you go back and get the hard ones. I've been in that position before too, all right? Especially in college, all right? But, you know, now they want to just critique Terrence Crawford being like, er like Errol Spence's guy, bro. Errol Spence got hoes in this game too. You feel me? This this shit is turning into a cult. This Errol Spence thing is turning into a cult. And the leader of the, the, the Errol Spence fanboy club cult, come on, man. Stop pushing propaganda out there, bro. You know, and that's what it is, man. And that's why that's why the LDBC be under attack by some people. And it don't really matter. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of them same channels push propaganda. But, yeah, the there's smoke, some, most of the time there's fire. Because you got guys out here, you know, with Terrence Crawford got to prove himself. And, you know, Earl said that if he didn't knock out Jose Benavidez, you know, what was the narrative going to be? The narrative was going to be he won every round. Then Bernard Hopkins used to shut people out. Then Roy Jones used to shut people out. Didn't uh, Floyd Mayweather shut people out and not get the knockout? It didn't take away from Floyd being pound for pound number one. It didn't take away from, from Roy Jones being pound for pound number one. It didn't take away from Bernard Hopkins' greatness. It didn't take away from Pernell Whitaker's greatness. You know what I'm saying? What, what, do, what do it matter? What does it matter? the second fight moving up. You know? Now everybody want to, now, now the Errol Spence boys want to take it to knockouts. Oh, yeah, it's about knockouts. And it's about winning. It's proven when you step up in competition, most of the time in the sport of boxing, outside the heavyweight division mostly, the knockouts going to stop coming when you get to elite status. You know what I'm saying? When you get to elite status, you used to got the uh, Gasvier and Breedy, British, that was the elite of the elite cruiserweights. And they both probably would beat Tony Bellew. When he stepped up to the elite welterweights, he didn't get the stoppage. Michael Hunter, or cruiserweights, excuse me. Michael Hunter wasn't elite as a cruiserweight, but he had a lot of pedigree. You know, amateur pedigree. He had Olympian pedigree. Now, it's basically, they trying to rationalize. And after you talk about AJ, now you're trying to rationalize, you know, with Terrence Crawford basically doing the same thing. But it's a facade. Crawford pulling up on him, saying what he going to do or what he... I mean, Errol Spitz pulling up on Crawford, saying what he going to do, what he don't going to do. And he's selling y'all fake shit. At least AJ say, look here, man, I ain't doing this shit right now. Eddie Hearn might be saying something up. AJ say, I don't know, I'm good. You know, by him not attending, I'm good. Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford tease y'all for a fight that ain't going to happen for another two years. 2021. If it ever happened. You all know Sean Porter not fighting him. Kenny Porter not letting that happen. He's told, I'm going to fight Keith Thurman next. I think that's what I'm fighting. 
That means he ain't fighting Errol Spence this year. Keith Thurman said, well, I, he said he ain't fighting Errol Spence this year. You know, well, I, you know, I see what Errol trying to do. You know, he's trying to get the easy. How are you going to get the easy fights out the way? Errol Spence or, or, or Keith Thurman. How are you going to get the easy fights out the way if those fighters not willing to fight you? You know, well, Bob Barron ain't trying to make the fight and, and this and that. I agree. I agree. They want to marinate. I agree. But let, let's not act like Errol Spence's team don't want to fight. And that's a fact. The most the guy that played the biggest prominent role in his in his career said he doesn't feel that Errol Spence is ready for that fight. That's a fact. Okay? That's a fact. And they out here swaying, swaying these zombie boxing fans and slappy minds that 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 throw their money at fake boxing all day. You know what I'm saying? They throw money into the same pastor collection plate that wanted to go back, play, uh, buy a private jet. You get the analogy. And you're not throwing money into the sport. You ain't supporting nothing that's really supporting the same shit. Difference is, is it's black. And then you got the, the coons in the middle. And then you got the white channels, the Mexican channels that support their own and do the same thing that they doing. You know what I'm saying? But they claim to be a, a, a pure, real boxing channel. Fuck up out of here, man. That shit, that shit grind my gears, man. Because once a guy like that fuck it up for the real boxing black channels, everybody else gonna think that's us. And I don't fall, I don't fall under that category. A spade is a spade. It ain't. Oh, I'm a. Uh, you know, I'm a. I'm a. Yeah, but early knocking this, knocking this dude out, knocking. I care. Crawford beat El Jose Benavidez every round. He did. He beat him every round. Floyd did it. Bernard Hopkins did it. Roy Jones did it. You know what I'm saying? Knockouts do sell. That's crew. But he did 2 million views. Beating Jose Benavidez. And he, ret he had a re good retention rate. Before the knockout. You know what I'm saying? Plenty of fighters over, over the history always didn't get the big knockout. Pacquiao didn't always get the big knockout before he went, made the welterweight. Where Eric Morales and, and a few other died. But got, he was exciting. You could tell and look at the skill, but ah, yeah, he got skills. You know, he can fight. Ain't nothing wrong with being a technician in the sport of boxing and, and, and picking somebody apart. Just because one guy get knockouts, okay, just because one guy get knockouts, bro, let me put it to you this way for these, these scent boxing fans. There's a lot of scent boxing fans with channels that claim to be trill channels. You know what I'm saying? You get me? You know, let me put this, let me put this into you way. Usually nine times out of ten, when a power puncher step up into a, a good boxer, a, a, a large amount of time, and I say seventy percent to be safe, they lose. Lucas Matisse was crushing everything. The machine, the machine. Danny Garcia put his, he beat him. He took him apart. Gennady Golovkin was supposed to be this power punching knockout artist, right? Okay, and and and, and what did Canelo beat him? Took him apart. He probably knocked out everything that was moving. Kovalev. Ooh, the crusher. Ooh, the crusher. Supposed to be this, this, this magnificent knockout artist. Andre Ward basically came out of a hiatus, moved up in weight, had a couple tune-ups on BET, and came on HBO, got a tune-up versus Brand, Alexander Brand, I think it was. He knocked the AB Kovalev the first time. You know, say what you want to say. Then he knocked him out. So just because you got a reputation for being a knockout puncher, when you step up and these fighters don't step up, and Errol Spence has never fought anybody in the class of Terrence Crawford. And I favor Errol Spence still to beat Terrence Crawford, but just because he's never fought nobody in that class. You know, he ain't fought no A fighter. I think that's an A type of winner of that fight. Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford is an A-level fighter, A-plus fighter, elite fighter. He ain't fought an elite fighter like Terrence Crawford. I'm going to say Terrence Crawford ain't fought an elite fighter like him. You know? Just because he looked big and strong, and you don't think Crawford is big and strong, don't get the misconception. Look at Crawford's legs. He's strong. And he big at welterweight. Trust me. Watch. Watch how he grew into the weight class again in his next fight. Then he going to be, a, a, in y'all opinion, a real welterweight. He can buy some masterpiece and beat Earl Spence because that's what Earl Spence's team is afraid is going to happen. 
So stop listening to these dudes that don't know nothing about boxing. That's in it because they fanboys. Start a channel because they fanboys. It's going to be a lot of slow singing and flower bringing once this man get beat, Earl Spence. Or if he get beat. You know, it is, man. And if Crawford exposed him, a lot of these dudes going to delete their channels, man. They're going to be depressed. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have to get them dudes some advent or some value, but it's good fellow sports TV. Y'all know what the business is, man. It's harder and harder to keep talking boxing, man. It is, man. But make sure you check us out on Facebook or Twitter. Also, you can email email me, man. I don't know, man. I'm hanging on by a thread. I continue to talk boxing because people are thinking that that this is boxing, man. That ain't boxing, dog. These dudes is artificial, fugazi, foo foo. Man, they bum. They boxing channel bums. Y'all know what the business is. Mr. One Time for the One Time. We gone.